songwriters? Did you click on this video because you wanted to see us tie a caddis larva imitation? Well, you're at the right place because that's what we're going to do today. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you click down here to subscribe or wait to the end because we have more important information to tell you about this fly. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. So now, let's get to the vice. Right now. You and me we meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free already debarbed the hook on this fly and we're going to take the thread and we're going to go about one quarter of the length for the shank of the hook for the rib we're going to use 4x tippet material now we're going to start tying this rib this uh rib in Right where you have the thread at. We're going to start building up the body a little bit with our thread. And then take it back down where we stopped tying that ribbon. Now you're gonna dub this fly. You're going to use just a very small amount of dubbing. You don't want the dubbing to be really big. You don't want the fly to be too bulky. And you're gonna run that up and stop that dubbing about two length eyelets behind the eyelet distance so you can do your thorax area I like to throw a half inch in here to keep anything from unraveling while I rib this fly. And you want to take that ribbing and go the opposite direction you did the dubbing and rib that all the way up to where you just stop the thread, tie that off. You, by tying it off, you're going to put wraps in front of it, behind it, front of it, behind it, then clip it off with a pair of scissors. Now you're going to take some pheasant tail and you're going to cut a strip about a quarter inch wide off the pheasant tail. Okay, now with your, your thread about a quarter of the way back to shank, you're going to measure this tail with the tips facing back and you're going to measure it from, the bot from where your thread is to the end of your body. Then you're going to move that forward and tie that in with the feather sticking out like that out the back and tie that down
Now you're going to add black dubbing. Just a tiny bit. Because you already got that thorax area built up. And you're going to apply that. And stop. Make sure you leave enough room to tie this fly off. You're going to need room. So make sure you leave enough room to tie it off. And tie, tie that in. Now you're gonna pull that pheasant tail up over and tie it down right behind the eyelet. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to try and separate them feathers in half and pull one side back, tie it down so it's facing back, take the other side, tie it down so it's tied back so the legs are facing back. Had a couple of thread wraps and I like to whip this, finish it right away. Don't wait too long you don't want them feathers to come back and you don't want to have a huge bulky head so I would finish it right away and that's all there is to it let's take a closer look at this fly the amazing fly because this works Rodders. I hope you like that fly we just covered. It's a deadly fly. I know, but like I said, it was still cold when I found one on my waders over the. It was like spring, still really cold, but I found one on my waders the one day on a spring creek. So, and this is basically what I came up with. Um, this is a great pattern. It's it works real well. So, uh, tie these up. And you, a lot of people say, why do you, why the monofilm? Because the monofilm will show through. When I seen this fly on the, on my boot, there was a rib. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. There was a rib on it, but it wasn't like bold. It wasn't black. It wasn't yellow. It didn't stand out. But there was definitely a rib there, of the same color, the olive. And that's what this, the monofilm will show through green and it'll still look olive with adding a rib. And I'm glad you started watching this. If you're new to our channel, you do not want to miss your chance any watching any of our old videos or go binge watch our old videos. Tie up all of these flies that have we done in our videos so far and you will be well prepared when you hit the water. I mean well prepared. You'll be set. I think we covered over a hundred flies, I think, by now. So go check them out. Tie them up. Um, but if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. We have 86% of our views do not come from subscribers. That means that 86 of you people watching this video aren't subscribing. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you please do. This brings value. Um, another thing is, if you want to help support this channel, we have now made an Amazon affiliate website. So that means we earn a percent of whatever things you buy there. So make sure you go there. Check out all this cool stuff we have on our store. Go check out our store. The thing will be in the, the link will be in the description below. Go check it out. Tell me what you think. Put comments below. Things you think we should add or things you think we shouldn't have on there. 
and uh, whatever. I, I want you all. That's it. That's tonight's homework. Go check out our store and buy from there, because you know all the money we get from sales just go right back into the channel by buying new cameras, making better videos, uh, updating this camera you're watching it on. I know it's pretty clear, but it can get a lot better. You know, once we upgrade our cameras, wait till you see the better quality of videos we put out. And all this is possible when you go and use our links to buy. We got t-shirts coming out. They're not on there yet, but we got t-shirts coming out. They're going to be really cool. Everybody's going to want to get these t-shirts. So, go check out our store. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe. Like this video. Comment on this video. And we always read comments and respond. So go check, do that now. And thank you very much for watching our video. And right here, up in here, you can see our videos from other videos on this playlist. Go check them out. You're going to not want to miss them. There's a video just for you, and it is literally just for you. It goes by what you watch the most. And right here is a subscribe button. Everybody subscribe if you're watching this video and you haven't yet. And keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip.